I knew you'd show up. If you want to hear what the cards have to say to you about your week, have a seat. I'll tell you. Here are your cards for this week. The Hierophant. The Lock. The Nothing. The Erase. The Bubbles. The Sweet. So Cancer, my friends, I sense that you have been indoctrinated to believe in something. You have been taught how to live your life pretty much. And you, you somehow live, you're living by this belief that you've been indoctrinated by. However, this does not serve you well. Welcome to Mystical and Whimsical, where I do Tarot Tuesday every week. If the following messages resonate with you, consider subscribing so you won't miss any Tarot Tuesday. And let's get back to the reading. So here is what you're going to do. You're going to ask yourself, is what you believe in valid? Is what you believe in the truth? Is it your truth? Because at the end of it, once you question yourself about if what you're believing in, what you've been th thought is true and real for you, you will come to the realization that it is not actually true. You will live pretty much a sweeter life, a fuller life. The Hierophant here in your spread is showing me that there was or there is an authority, authority figure in your life who is much teaching you how you should live your life. This could be an elderly family member. This could be a pastor or some sort of leader in your life. And they are teaching you the way that you should live your life or the truth. And this is causing you to actually believe in it. You, you don't, you're not even, at this point, you're not even questioning whether what you've been taught is real. And from looking at your cloak card spread, I, see, I sense somehow, I sense that this is about love. Like the Hierophant in your life, this sort of authority figure taught you that being in a relationship, having kids at a certain age, I don't know if this is going to sound funny to you, but you've been taught that you, at a certain age, you have to have a husband, you have to have a boyfriend, and that you have to have a kid or kids by now. However, that prospect of a partner is just not there. You are almost getting to, because of this indoctrination, you are in a and a lot of pressure to actually follow that indoctrination. You have to make you feel feel like you have to follow whatever that leader in your life taught you to live by, and that is that you have to have a, a partner by by now. However, you just you don't have that kind of that kind of like you don't have that partner or you don't have any prospect right now, and it's causing you to to want to rush into things. You're causing yourself to almost want to settle for less, just so you could have a partner by now and you, so you can start making kids by now because you know you feel like you're getting to a certain age where things will have will start going downhill but my friends i am not a higher fence i am not an authority figure in your life i am not your parent but i am here to remind you as your friend you may not see me as a friend but i see you as my friend that the sort of belief right it causes you to be stressed out so that means that you should drop it. You don't have to follow what, let's say, your parents have told you. You don't have to believe what your pastor have told you. Question yourself. Do you feel that their teaching actually resonates with you? Or do you only follow their teaching out of fear, out of obligation? You have to question the validity of their teachings because if it's not making you happy, we only live a short amount of years in this world. And if you spend a majority of your time, of your of your existence, trying to pursue, trying to pursue the uh, approval of an authority figure in your life, you're not living well. You're not living your life to its fullest because you are pretty much living a life in servitude to that indoctrination that you you've been taught. So what you're gonna do this week, my friend, is this is gonna be hard to do. It's easier said than done. And it's totally up to you if you're gonna do it, but here's what the universe is saying that you should do. You should cleanse your mind 
of all this teachings, of all this pressure that people have put on you. Because if this reading, this reading could also apply to other areas of your life, not just in love, but I sense that this could be about love. You will realize that, no, you don't have to be married at a certain age. You don't have to have kids by a certain age. You can have kids anytime you, anytime you want, within realistic means, of course, because I don't think, has anyone given birth at 80 years old? But you know what I mean? Like, for example, you don't have to be pregnant by 27 years old. There's so many things that you can still do when, when you're 27. You can still travel the world. That's going to be hard to do when you have a kid. So just keep that in mind. And if you somehow succeed, in cleansing yourself of all this teachings, of all this indoctrination, you will find that your life, right, is so much sweeter. It's so much better to live. It's so much, you feel so much lighter because you are not under any obligation to meet someone else's teaching. Someone, you know, just because it worked out for them doesn't mean that it should work for you because we are all different people. So just keep that in mind, my friends. All right. So Gemini, if this reading resonated with you, consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss next week's Tarot Tuesday. Alright, see you Geminis!